So yes, you're the title correctly. An Epic Games employee, yes, an Epic Games employee tries to shut down Fortnite. So I'm going to explain the whole entire thing in this video. So yo, what's up guys? It's your boy, I'm Nick Arc here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, like I said, we're going to be talking about how an Epic Games employee actually tried to shut down Fortnite. But two things before I get into the video. The first thing, if you haven't wished your dad happy Father's Day, make sure you go and do that. And if you have, do it one more time, just for me. And I'm being very, very serious about that, so make sure you go and do that if you haven't already, if you're done watching this. The second thing, I want you guys to let me know this down below in the comments. If you had to play another game for the rest of your life, yes, one game for the rest of your life, except Fortnite, what would it be? Let me know your thoughts on that down below in the comments. Alrighty guys, so with all that said, let's get right into the video. So this information is brought to you by Dexter. I'll link the official article down below at the top of the description. You guys can go check it out, everything like that if you're interested. It starts off by saying this, Fortnite is currently the biggest game in the world, but it wouldn't have achieved such success had former director of production Rod Ferguson, I think I'm saying that right, I'm not going to pronounce it, stayed at Epic Games as he planned to scrap the game's development entirely. Originally launched in July 2017 with Fortnite Save the World, it was it wasn't until September 2017 when the Battle Royale mode was released, which resulted in the game exploding in popularity, capturing most of the market share previously held by titles such as H1Z1, Players Unknown, Bot Battlegrounds. With top streamers and content creators all rushing to play the game, it reached heights that no one ever had expected, including ex-director of production Rod, I'm just gonna call him Rod, who revealed that the game would have been cancelled if he was still employed at Epic Games. So with an interview by Game Informer, he said this, these are his words, If I stayed at Epic, I would have cancelled Fortnite, absolutely. He said, Before I left, I tried to cancel Fortnite, when it was just Save the World. That was a project that had some challenges. As a director of production at the time, the, that game would not have passed my bar for something we should have continued to keep going. So I guess that's a big slap in the face. Okay, I'm just kidding. He said, Ferguson added that he does not lose any sleep over it, despite their enormous success over the last two years, and revealed he was extremely happy for the developers. However, he was quick to remind fans that the game they know and love would not exist if he stayed with the company. So that is basically where the article ends. I find that pretty crazy how I wanted to share this with you guys because as I was reading it and as I got the notification for it, I was like, I have to make a video on this because Fortnite honestly impacted my life so much. I would not be in this position without Fortnite. I would not know some of you guys watching this video without Fortnite. It is truly insane. I want to share with you guys that an Epic employee actually tried to cancel Fortnite before it launched. Oh my gosh, it is truly insane to me. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did, anime share your form. I'd appreciate it if you dropped a like on the video. It helps it out tremendously, and it shows that you enjoyed the video. If you haven't wished your father happy Father's Day yet, make sure you go and do that. And if you have, do it one more time. He would really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. It's a win-win situation here. If you guys are new to the channel, as always, I'd love to have you on this channel. Make subscribe and keep you guys updated with everything regarding foreign news, foreign pro player news, random facts like this. If that is your type of content that you like, I'm the channel for you once again. I'd love to have you on this channel. I really appreciate it if you subscribe hope you guys have a great rest of your day or night and i'll talk to you guys either in a couple hours with a brand new stream playing with subscribers or tomorrow with a brand new upload and a brand new stream playing with subscribers i cannot wait and i will see you guys there peace